We've had a lot of fun this week in school celebrating the 75th birthday of Thomas the Tank Engine. Here you can see some of the children's drawings of Thomas on our display board here, following the instructions on the Wednesday's challenge. And here we have one of my dad's train layouts. My dad was known affectionately in school as Grandpa Ted and he loved model trains. And as a child, he often took me to exhibitions of model train layouts. And we loved to go and see them going round and look at all the scenery. And when I grew up and moved away from home, my dad used my bedroom to be an enormous model train layout. It was so big that he had to crawl along the floor and he would pop up in the middle of it as it went all round the room. And he sat in the middle, a bit like the fat controller from Thomas the Tank Engine and directed all his trains. When he was a little bit older, 75 years of age, he moved down south and he missed his model train set in his little house. And when my mum passed away, my dad was about 81, he decided to build another train set. And this was the train set that he built. We thought he would put it in a table in the dining room, but my dad said, oh no, you can't have train sets in the dining room. And so he put this in his wardrobe. He took out the middle section of his wardrobe and this used to swivel in and he would swivel it out from one end and some legs that he'd put on the bottom of it would flop down and stand on the floor and there he would build the train set. I'm afraid some of it's become a little bit wobbly now. You can see some of the chimneys in the station are not quite at the right angle and need a bit of repair. And my dad added and added to this train set as we gave him things or he found things in, in shops that he would like. So there's a little model aeroplane here that he's put into the scenery. And then once when we went to, I can't remember now if it was Spain or Portugal, we bought him some little houses, some little villas, and he's put them on his set here. And my dad loved going on cruise ships. And my brother gave him a model of the Queen Mary, I think it is. And so my dad then had to extend his train layout with this dockyard area, which slots onto the side of it and the train can go along to the dockside for any passengers wishing to go on the Queen Mary. Dad liked to make things out of oh, just any material he could find. His shed and his garage were full of little bits of discarded tins and plastics and so on. The station roofs here, you see the canopies here, are made from a fruit container that he got from a supermarket and the poles which he painted black are just little cocktail sticks. The pipes here going on the on the train here which we'll get going in a minute um, are made from drinking straws and here you can see a school which he very loyally put the children in painted them in blue blazers the lampposts and the um, Belisha beacons at the crossings are just made from pins, dressmakers pins. And here's a, a wedding going on here in the church when the cars have got their little white ribbons on them. One of my favourite bits of it. Oh, here's the, the goods yards here. The lorry coming out of the factory. And one of my favourite parts here is the car showroom. The little cars made out of balsa wood and the bunting here is made from those confetti sprinkles that you can put on your table when you're having a special celebration. Now then let's get the trains going. Now here we've got the trains going, one on the lower track and one on the upper track. I like the one on the lower track the best watch, it's got lights on it. Coming out the tunnel, there it is. Round they go. We've got some passenger 
asparagus and some good asparagus. I'm not quite as skilled as my dad would be for changing the points and getting them to go into the sidings or down to the dock area. We've been spending a lot of time this week watching these go round and round. Great time waster. My dad would be absolutely thrilled to know that they were in school. My dad literally was nearly 94 and he always played with his train sets. He'd love to take people in and to show them his train sets. This is the second train layout that my dad made just a few years ago. And this one was actually in his coffee table. You can see the base of it here. And he had a, a rather nice lid that he made to put on the top of it and legs that screwed in the bottom. So this was in his sitting room in his coffee table. This one is battery operated and it's the smallest gauge, the smallest scale that you can um, that you can get and it's called T gauge it's very very tiny and unfortunately we just can't, can't quite get this one going um, we've tried to clean the track and James has been very good in taking the tiny engines apart um, but we just can't quite get this train layout going but you can see the attention to detail again look here's a here's a ruined abbey up on the hill there's a vegetable garden here. Tiny little cars. Bridges. Crossing the river, all the nice rocks. Here's the station here. But it is absolutely tiny, those little engines and then taken up with the idea of trains tom in the kitchen has cooked a rather nice snack for us today and here look we've got lots of thomas cakes here and we've got chocolate cakes dusted with snow with carriages he's even got wheels on look he's made the wheels with chocolate buttons for our chocolate cakes so we're going to enjoy our snack this morning. Thank you, Tom. And you can see on our front board here, a few of the pictures we've been sent in of your train collections, the models that you've made, the pictures you've drawn and painted. And your very impressive Thomas the Tank Engine collections. And falling on from one of our assemblies this week, a drawing of a perfect tree house. Thank you everyone for joining in and we hope that you've enjoyed Thomas's 75th birthday at home as much as we have in school. <laughs>